Do you use large language models for coding? I hope so. So do I. FFmpeg data sampling interfaces a lot of boring stuff. But don't fall on the dark side. Don't allow your large language models to write your math. I prepared a few funny samples of how different LLMs write code for a simple request. The request will be write me an fast Fourier transform function. Here is the exact request. We will return to it later. Of the eight functions I will show, only one works correctly. I tested around 20, but most of them have the same errors, like only three of them work. What is FFT? FFT is the approach to make DFT, discrete Fourier transform, faster. D direct DFT requires n in power of two operation. FFT requires n log n operations. The basic FFT is the Kule Turke algorithm. To perform it, you just run FFT recursively on half of your data, like this. The pseudo code for this operation look like this, and you will see later that a lot of code will look almost the same. To test the result and compare them, I will use regular NumPy FFT for the two-second signal with voice and the square wave signal on it. It should look like this. By the way, if you want, write in the comment. And I will run the same test for different algorithms. For example, for the Kalman filter. I will start from ChatGPT 3.5. And this is one of the best function, but <laughs> there are three problems. It's slow. Uh, the iterations are bad for Python. Don't do like this. It takes incorrect input. I was asking in my request for one pi array as the input. It lost part of the point due to incorrect work with odd and even numbers. Uh, let's look and compare this with the actual FFT from NumPy. As you can see, there are some differences. They are pretty minor, but in some cases it might be a problem. The second example is also from the same request to ChatGPT3. Uh, look almost the same, but it will not work with the arrays with sizes different than power of two. There will be the problem. And this error is pretty common. Also, I mentioned in my request that the function should work with any uh, length of the array, but here is the sample from Bing AI, which worked based on GPT-4. Uh, here is the sample from GPT-4, and it's the regular problem. I have a lot of samples like this. The next error is a bit crazy, and it's also from GPT-4. Uh, here is the code. This code is pretty interesting. Uh, chat GPT increases the array size to make the lens uh, as the next power of 2. And it's allow code to run super fast. But let's look at the results. Something not right, yes? And uh, after the streak with increasing the size of the array, you need to renormalize the response. And uh, without it, the result will be a bit incorrect. And uh, of course, we can tune the result, but you need to do this yourself. Uh, the next errors are funny. They are from different models, uh, they are, and these models uh, are performed worse. Uh, one of 
this final result is from Google Bart. Here is the code. Mm. This is not FFT. Don't lie to me, Bart. This is DFT. And never calculate your Fourier like this. The next one is from YaGPT. Uh, this is the large language model from Yandex. And this code will fall when it tries to generate this array. Because it's very big. But in my opinion, this cycle is also looks suspicious. Here is your homework. Please calculate whether error it will be complexity of n in power of 2 or n in power of 4. And the final example will be Hagen face chat. It was phenomenal. In the beginning, it gives me the Thyston code. After that, the code contained many errors, like typographical errors, and couldn't run. And my final try to generate the code with uh, Hagen face chat was like this. It's work and it's return a single value. I don't know what it's return. Okay, it was super funny for me. Mm, please choose which one of the samples is you like the most. And here is the little moral of the story. Of course, it's okay to use your large language model for math in your project. But when you do this, you need to understand all the math your asked large language model to generate. Never ask to generate something you don't know. You will spend a lot of time to find the errors and you will never find the errors. And you will lead these errors to production. Second, have test to verify the result. Of course, it's better to have already working function, but try to create some tests that will check at least some part of your mess. Third, understand the side parameters of the algorithm that you want. For example, speed of the algorithm, amount of memory, and so on. It's common to such algorithm to broke in some different places. And of course, try to run the same request for your large language model a few times. The result will be different and probably you just could choose the best one. Thank you for watching. Subscribe on my channel and my LinkedIn. See you next time. Well,